So it's Wednesday, week 35, and there's been a lot of activity today. We've had tilers here today, as you can see, very neatly stacked on the roof and all brought up here. So all these tiles have come up from down there. We had a cool little conveyor belt type thing, which made it look very easy. I wish I'd had when I was moving all the blocks. So they've obviously felt it the other week, but they've come back today, done this lead work and this channel, which goes in the, in the valleys, bring the water down to the guttering. And they've obviously been round loaded up loads of tiles all the way along there. And just need to have a bit of a clean up really. Uh, but yeah, all the tiles he needs and then there's a few spare for the garage which has not been done yet. So yeah, they've been busy today and they're on another site tomorrow. But then they are back with us on Friday 8 o'clock, all being well with the weather. And they'll carry on and they reckon they might get it done in that day. So hopefully by, at least by the weekend, we should have fully tiled roof. Um, and then solar panels will be going on the far side and then the brickies can come back, move the scaffolding down and then drop the stone sills in so the window guy can come and measure the windows and then hopefully that's not on a long lead time but that looks like quite a lot of space down there now we've uh, got rid of all that those tiles feel like they've been there for ages so kind of got used to it but now we can uh, have our driveway back so it's Thursday and we weren't expecting today, but Dave the Bricky's been and finished off the chimney and put the pot on. And it looks really good. Uh, yeah, a bit unexpected, but I think he just wants to get that done before it all gets tiled. Because you can see there's a bit of, he dropped a bit of cement around about there, so he didn't want to get that on, on the tiles, on the clean new tiles. So yeah, we're happy with that. And should look good from the front. Just gone for a, just a bit of a pattern around the top there, just to match it in with the sort of, gable pattern slightly so yeah it's good to get that done and then hopefully Tyler's back tomorrow and said all weather dependent but looking okay for weather tomorrow so they should be here tomorrow get all this done apparently which sounds crazy but it's quite a few of them and we've got it all set up and ready to go so everything's here i think they're going to put the put the vlux window in as well in the middle there so yeah should be all go and then we just had a call from the solar panel guys and they can come next Thursday so we've got them booked in as well because they can use the scaffolding that's already there save us a bit of money use this scaffolding to fit it so they're all going down this side here so yeah it's quite a busy week when we weren't really expecting it to be oh so just having a nosy round on site on the weekend um the roofers were here yesterday and um we have a room yay so exciting it's weird walking around the house and it's been dry it's like crazy and it's raining as well so that's really cool and um we've got the velux window in that you'll have seen anyway on the video which i'll oh there it is so that is gonna like so much light in when you walk in really cool. I'm really starting to see what double height is going to be like in the vaulted ceiling. So yeah, very cool. We have, other than the things that have gone on with site, um, we've come up with some decisions for... Well, we redone some decisions. <laughs> we made some decisions. <laughs> no, we came up with a decision for lighting. Like, I've, yeah. been, I've been a, um, a lighting designer. Yeah. Um, I don't know if anybody else out there is some I know obviously people have but <laughs> somebody, else. <laughs> somebody else but um yeah we was we weren't we were, it, were we? we was on that virtual reality thing if you've seen one of our other videos um virtual reality home. virtual home renovation show home, yeah um and one of the things was about lighting design and we were thinking um we were sort of struggling with probably how much light we should have in each room. I know that sounds yeah. quite straightforward and where, I suppose, but as well. sometimes this when you're in the space, when you're in the, the new house, it's hard to get a real idea of the space and how many wall lights you would have, how many down lights you'd have, mm. light a light, like a natural light or warm lighting. And we thought it'd be a really good idea to get some quotes um, from some lighting designers. And one came in a crazy amount of money. <laughs> so it's like basically like breaking it down, they, they will give you... Um, um, 
PDFs of where they think you should have lighting and the type of lighting. Mm -hmm. um, the first place that quoted a lot more, well, it's about over 2,000, wasn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> ah, that's oh, a bit too much. We didn't know how much we were going to be, though, did we, to be fair? No, but they were, their service was um, giving you PDFs of like where you would have all the lighting. Yeah. Um, like specific lights and where you can get them from they would actually order them for you yeah, as well i think they do you reckon there'd be a bit of saving on the lights but yeah and they'd have, a con two grand. have consultations through throughout with them amending the plans and tweaking what you know ideas they come up with and yeah so they basically order the lights as well yeah so we thought that was just a little bit crazy and then another place um, they, I just found she, online, didn't I? And yeah, yeah. Um, and she basically will take our plans, um, asks for like an idea of our style, like some pins, for example, Pinterest, or um, an idea of like lighting that we that we yeah. that we like. We've had a chat with her, um, and she will basically give us a plan of our house um, and where she thinks the lights should go and mm -hmm. what sort of lights, and she'll recommend. Um, suppliers of lights like Give a guide you price. might not necessarily yeah. get and only for like your um, trader for a trade account or whatever so we're going to do that aren't we so yeah. we've actually got a lighting designer we spoke to her yesterday and um, yeah she's going to crack on with it this week we think this uh, week coming up yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah, we're very excited about that because uh, we're hoping that she can come up with some like different ideas like some stuff that will work like she talked about um creating like um as you walk in the hallway like giving you some like what how she wrote it like again sort of uh, it's like a i've got an hour it so it just like walks just, you through the house through to yeah the room yeah yeah like, like welcomes you in to, yeah through the house. it's like it's putting lights in like lower down as well or, and yeah we're just hoping that she comes up with some ideas that we so we thought of yeah um i think it was really like that the land in the hallway we're struggling with really wasn't mm. it because it's like it's vaulted, vaulted double, double high. high yeah so is it wall lights is it spotlights on the ground floor is it really one couple of big lights really high up there's loads yeah. of options it's trying to sort of i don't know i think it'd just be really good to get and another good thing when we had a chat <coughs> with her is like i we were saying about we quite like trench lighting you know where you have the lighting that's within the like, like in a recess yeah and um, we were maybe like saying that we could have that in the living room, and she said, "I I think maybe that would work better in the snow where you're gonna have mm. it darker." So it's good to An get yeah, get some. We we don't want someone to just go, "Yeah, I will do whatever you want me to do," because no. otherwise we're we gonna just do it ourselves. ourselves. <laughs> so we think it'll be really good mm. way of um, getting some sort of guidance, and yeah. yeah. So that's one thing that we've um, decided on. And oh yeah, also kitchen. Kitchens related. again, <laughs> third, <laughs> oh third time we changed our mind. So the reason that we've done this is we were looking at, we've, because we've been playing around with SketchUp a lot, and we put a navy blue colour on the kitchen on the SketchUp, and we were just mm, feeling like <laughs> I don't think that colour is really us. No, like it's so it's beautiful, and you see it on Instagram all the time, dark. Well, that's kitchen, what we wanted, like, dark, didn't we? Kitchen. We didn't necessarily always want yeah. navy blue. We always want a dark yeah. kitchen. And so we, and then we were thinking, well, we do really like the Inshira blue, mm -hmm. um, fire and ball colour, which is a greeny, bluey, grey colour. Yeah, different colour and different lights. Yeah, and and so we, then we were thinking maybe we should get it um, colour matched. Mm. And play, probably, places probably do a lot of places probably do well, do it. Howden's did say that you they could would paint. give you the. They you said that they one. would get. They would. Um, have it primed for you to go and get it painted. Which I don't like. We don't really. No. Yeah, I don't. I'd rather if it goes it wrong. It's from one you've got place. Room kitchen, haven't you? Yeah. So then we came across DIY kitchens, and we because we know exactly what we need because we've got a plan of the kitchen. <laughs> Poor Howden's. Sorry. <laughs> um, we've been able to, and they obviously do. Uh, they do a bespoke um painted range, and um, and it's the in frame. Shake, it's shake style kitchen it's, like yeah. it's in frame so it, it's the doors look like they're actually in the frame of the the carcass sort of thing yeah which looks amazing and it's coming cheap and being and putting everything in because you can just basically 
pick everything you need and put it into your basket. Couldn't do appliances though, did we? We did that separately. No, we had so to do that separately. But we did work it out that it is cheaper, but it's also a really, it's like a, it's the, the in frame looks really bespoke. Mm. And um, they will basically, you just tell them what colour you want it and they will paint everything that colour. Mm. Yeah. And um, because it's all in house, it's all in their factory, they can just basically do it all. So we were like, yeah, we ordered it? ordered a sample door, not yeah, in the right yeah. colour, I think it was but in like a like dark colour. Quid for a sample door just to see what it looks. Oh, just you can to give them look. give the driver that back apparently when they go over the kitchen, you get your money back. Oh, cool! <laughs> Randomly, so I'm and I think the DIY kitchen idea works better for us because it's not we, a, it's not a massively like, complicated kitchen though, is it? It's no, one wall and an like, island. Yeah, it's, like with the integrated storage and I want It's nice to be able to have a really good look around their website. And feel like you can just take your time and decide all the little bits. And I've just felt like when you go for kitchen design, the integrated bit kind of gets put mm. to one side a little bit from my I, experience. I, in fairness, that might have been once Howden's come out and measure up, we might yeah. have then gone into a bit more detail on sort of pull out cupboards and <clears> stuff. But yeah, but we feel that we're we're, we're happy. We're that. happy and with doing the DIY the other one kitchen. You've changed, and it's definitely changed cheaper. is the Belfast sink you want now. Yeah, the Belfast sink. Yeah, so. Because we're obviously having concrete worktops and um, we'll have a Belfast sink. And you sent me some dark grey and now I've had the white. Oh, yeah, we haven't talked about that actually. Yeah, I sent you that this morning. White, white mm. sink. I was just looking at ideas of like, more modern white, takes on Belfast. Belfast. I think Belfast sink should be white. Mm. Yeah. We'll see. No, Watch we're, this we're definitely having a white. White, don't do that face. <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely having a white sink. Yeah. Yeah. Because the Belfast one is good. Okay. Um. Anything else happened? Anything else? We, yeah. we were like, obviously you'll see the footage anyway, but we were just, there was so much going on well, on Friday. Six people working here yesterday, so five five yeah. roofers and, and Dave the Bricky. And we were both working and, and it was so loud outside. It just felt like very hectic side, didn't it? It felt mm. like real progress. So we, yeah. Because we were busy working, we didn't actually really go out all day apart from making a couple of tea roads. And we were so So we didn't see it happening we, at stages. Because, because lot, not a lot has been happening for the last few weeks. It was like everything at once. Mm. And one of the Brickies... Um, they've been on another job and so they were going to just come back and do the sills at some point in the chimney and because one of them had broken his finger they couldn't both go and do the job they were doing so then one of them came here and did the chimney the other day and then and then he and then he popped out a look yesterday and just thought oh i'll start doing sills yeah so like nice one so yeah so, so he's been doing the sills only a few left to do then and then yeah. it's all windows can get measured we can get the scaffolding down yeah the and then it'll look like a proper house then and then it's yeah, yeah. Yeah, the windows will can get measured next week probably. The solar panels are getting fitted on Thursday, Thursday and yeah, it's all go. Yeah, so um, the roof was finished. They stayed an extra hour last night, didn't they, to get finished? So yeah, um, it was pretty so dark when really, we left, so we didn't really see we it, did we? Didn't we probably but see it. We're just taking the dogs out this morning, had a, had a good look, and it just started raining, but it should be alright. Actually, really want it to rain now. Oh, yeah, it was really weird because we took the dogs out for a walk and it started raining, so we rushed back. And I said, I ain't got a key to get into our house because you had to wait with Charlie because he's really slow. Um, and um, I could just go and you were like, you can go and stand in the house. Yeah, stand in the house. It's, no, it's because dry. it's like dry. So me and Lola were just stood in there. She's absolutely shy, bless her. Bless it. Both of us talking about houses. So, um, yeah, so I'll probably go up and just do another proper video in the daylight up, up on top of the roof. Yeah. And then we'll put in the time lapse video. Yeah. Only one of the cameras worked this week, which is really annoying. So we're going to get footage from one angle. I don't, I don't see you angry very often, but you look really like so you're angry because you just you don't know till afterwards it hasn't worked. So that footage is just gone now, which is annoying. But forevermore. At least we've got the side footage, so that'll do. We'll drop that it's in. It's not the end of the world. No, no, it's annoying though. Yeah. Anyway. So that's us for another week. So yeah. we're week thirty-five. Yeah. Yeah. So week thirty-six. Probably not solar a lot panels. happening. I wouldn't have thought. Oh, solar, solar panels. panels. That's solar a biggie. Panels. Yeah. And sills and measuring up the windows. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Hopefully. Yeah. Cool. Bye. Bye. So we have a roof. Very exciting, obviously. And looks really good. Really like the big tiles. And looks really good effect. And I've just come back this morning, just done that tiny little bit of silicon sealing up there because I don't have enough with them. But yeah, it all looks really good. So this has been finished up here. So they just bored, springed it out a little bit, and then tile sit flush on that and then the frost use cement to, to fill it in so it looks really good finish on the really crisp crisp top and the Velux window and that looks really good as well it's going to allow a lot of light down there
uh, into the land in the hallway and these valleys I'm no expert but they look pretty pretty good pretty neat temporary pipe in now just to take it away from the house so the house doesn't get too wet so a bit of a bodgy job there but doing the job but yeah really impressed with the, the work the tile has done that looks really good and obviously they've done around the chimney which we managed to get bricked up just in time for it to come so done the day before and they've done a good job around there as well and obviously there's just loads of footprints and stuff which I'm sure there'll be rain pretty soon to, to wash all that off. And then again, around the back was pretty complicated. So there's a couple of couple of valleys coming to one down there and then down the back and round. So yeah, that was a, another complicated one, but they made that look good as well. Pretty impressive. And just the same on that side as well. So yeah, really pleased. Really good. It's a bit windy, otherwise I would take the drone up and have a look from above, but I think we'll do that another day when it's a bit nicer weather. But yeah, it's looking like a house now. So yes, yeah, it's Thursday. And then hopefully Dan and Dave will come back at some point and finish off the stone sills. So most of them have done that. And now that it's done, you can see it in there. And yeah, these front ones are done, but they're covered up with the hair soon just drying only a couple left to do. So yeah, very productive week, feels like. Mm -hmm.